I'm Randy and I'm Diane and this is Zephyr Travels. We're in Mohab, Utah and we're heading over to Arches National Park. We're going to take you along with us. So let's get going. Yeah, we're on the wrong side. Arches National Park is one of the most visited national parks in the country, so expect to be waiting in long lines when you're getting there to get in. Now, they do require you to have reservations to enter the park between 7 a.m. and 4 p.m. After 4 p.m. you can enter without a reservation, but you're going to find that the lines are as long, possibly even longer at that point. So keep that in mind when visiting the park. Right down there is the visitor center. We did make our usual stop there, picked up the maps and a few souvenirs from the park. But one of the things I wanted to point out to you is look at the view. We're starting to go up in elevation and you can just see the Rocky Mountains off in the distance. But that's one view. Turn around this way and look behind me and there's another one. It's like everywhere you look it's just spectacular views. I believe these behind me are courthouse towers, which are uh, very impressive. We've stopped here at Balance Rock and <clears throat> There's a nice path, and so we can take a walk out, check it out.
This area is known as Panoramic Point. And basically, wherever you look, you've got a great view. It seems to be on a top of a little knoll, and you can see behind me, great view of it here, great view over there. It's, it's uh, kind of a cool stop. And we stopped here and had our lunch. Our next stop is Sand Dune Arch Trail. This is a great trail to visit when you have children with you because it's a short trail. It's only about a half a mile long. Um, very flat, very easy, but it's kind of a fun payoff because you get to the arch at the end. This is probably a good time to bring up too. When you're hiking through arches, be sure to bring plenty of water because it, the sun can get very intense here and you don't want to have any issues based on the heat and everything. Is it a good thing you're a small person? Our first short hike, very short hike, was to Sand Dune Arch. It looks like we're getting some weather coming in, so we're going to head back to the car and keep moving along through the park so we can see as much as we can before it rains. This area is known as the Devil's Garden, but it's also where the National Park Campground is located. And so we thought we'd just take a quick walk in here, check it out and see what the campsites look like, if they're, you know, suitable for uh, an RV our size or not. You know, so if we want to come here in the future, we have a pretty good idea. A lot of the campsites look pretty small, but actually this one does look like we could fit in on it. With our trailer you just back up over the uh, um, tent pad there and I think the trailer and the truck would both fit on here a lot of the campsites are like this one where just enough room to park a vehicle and then it's geared for you to put your tent in the background so unless you have maybe a camper van you couldn't fit into here We're now at the Devil's Garden Trailhead, and from here we can visit three arches. There's Tunnel Arch, Pine Tree Arch, and Double Arch. We're going to just visit two of those because it's getting late in the day. So we're going to do Pine Tree Arch and Tunnel Arch. We'll come back tomorrow and do Double Arch. The hike to Tunnel Arch and Pine Tree Arch is pretty easy. There's a little bit of an elevation change. This behind me is Tunnel Arch. Now I'm assuming it's the small one there that is considered Tunnel Arch and not this one. But that would just be my guess. I don't know for sure.
behind me is Pine Tree Arch. This was nice because this is one that the crowds haven't found. There's just been a few people here while we're here, but for the most part, it's been pretty quiet. Well, except for that bird. I climbed, look. So what do you think of this one? Oh, this is beautiful. Yeah. It's beautiful. We're walking to the Delicate Arch viewpoint. It's about a half mile down this path, which is, seems to be a pretty easy walk. And then uh, we can kind of see it as you walk along, but this is supposed to be the elevated viewpoint. So we're gonna check that out. And then hopefully tomorrow we will hike out to the Delicate Arch. Right behind us is Delicate Arch, and right now we're standing at the point of the upper viewing of the arch. <coughs> After a long day of exploring Arches National Park, we drove back into Molab where we found some food trucks and had our dinner. Now let's get into our second day of exploring arches where we head to Delicate Arch. Today we're doing the Delicate Arch hike. It's a total of 3.2 miles round trip. So we'll see if both of us or one of us makes it. Yeah, because there's elevation change and uh, a little bit of climbing, a little bit of a ledge. We did bring our walking sticks though, so those should help. We start the hike out by crossing a little creek and it actually has water in it, which is interesting. There are petroglyphs on a little side shoot of the trail, which you can go and visit. And there was also a historical building back there that we walk by that you can check out while you're hiking. Now this is one of the most popular hikes in Arches and it is the signature arch for the state of Utah. So a lot of people will be here walking this uh, uh, trail with us today. So we'll make it interesting. They say that uh, there's parts of the trails that aren't very well marked, but you just follow the people. So if you wonder why Diane's always in front walking, it's because she complains I walk too fast and so I told her she can lead and set the pace. This is the slick rock portion of the hike. You can see it's got a pretty good incline to it. So that's something you always want to take your time when you go up. Stop, take a rest when you need it. I'm sitting resting a little bit and just contemplating attempting the, the rest of the slick rock to get up to the um, delicate arch, is that what it's called? I'm, I'm not quite sure. So far I haven't seen any older people attempting to climb, climbing up or coming down. So, you may see me again, or you may not. Hopefully I'll make it. Well, if it's any you know, consolation to you, you've gone a mile. Oh, so and it's a total of 3.2 miles round trip. round trip. So you've got a little over half a mile to go. It's up, but you've got a little more half a mile to go. And then c 
coming down should be like, quite that's a bit funny. easier. Yes. Hopefully. It's like ridiculous. Hopefully like, I'll make it. update on my progress. We made it up Slick Rock and now we're in the home stretch up to Delicate Arch. I don't believe there is much more to climb. It's a little narrow so we've asked a couple people and they said it is well worth it. So I shall make a determination of my own. So stay tuned. Will Diane make it all the way up to Delicate Arch? Or will she stop aren't you almost at the peak? You will have to wait to see. Looks like there's a little bit of a stairs here into the trail. Now we get treated to a little arch on our way up. Now this section's right on the edge of a cliff, but the views are great. Well, good news is I made it. Let's take the group picture and now, then go, okay? Now, to rest. Uh, please stay alive. Wait, I would Ayla, recommend that. Leave. We're going to take a picture right here. Well, well, now that you're here, what do you think? It was worth it. I mean, you go at your own pace, and if you have to stop and rest, oh, that's kind of then nice. you do. And, uh, you know, it is a warm day, which, you know, really, you know, affects you. But, or affects me. But we made it. So. When you get up here, be sure to take in a take a moment and take in the views. You know, you worked hard to get this to this point, and it's really you know there's a lot to see here. Not just the arch, but the um, different buttes around here and the mountains in the background, the clouds. It's it's just really uh, well worth the, the hike. And like Diane says, just take your time when you're coming up here. And be sure to bring plenty of water. That's one thing we probably didn't. We probably should have brought twice as much water because we've gone through a good chunk of it. We still got some to get back down the hill, but we'll be all right. But we could have used a little more water. making it up to Delicate Arch and taking a few pictures, a little video, and resting a little, we are going to make the hike down, which hopefully, and it should be, a bit easier. I think so. so yeah. Right. Um, you know, when you come up here, you know, take your time. There's a lot to see, and there's usually a lot of people up here, so just be patient with the people and uh, yeah. get some photos and Enjoy might, yourself. It might get a little windy. Yeah, it is pretty windy up here. So, be careful. Yep. We're probably not going to show you much video on the way down because it's just the reverse of the way up. So if you really want to see our walk down, just play the walk up in reverse and then you'll be all set. finished Delicate Rarch, the entire hike, 3.2 miles. Um, it was maybe a little slow, but we took our time. And like we said before, it's definitely worth it. So if you ever have the opportunity to visit the arches, make sure that you attempt to do the Delicate Arch hike. And maybe not when it's real warm outside. I was pretty proud of myself in making the hike. We saw people walking without water. In fact, Randy walked a little ahead of me because he needed a drink so bad on our way back. And I saw a young man in his bathing suit 
walking the trail, walking or starting the hike with another group of people. But make sure you bring plenty of water. If you figure you have enough water, bring more because you will use quite a bit. One lead, at least one liter per person, possibly more. The rocks behind me are considered the Garden of Eden. Behind me is double arches. You see the two arches kind of form from a center point here and go back in two different directions. Do you see the elephants? There's one in the trunk and there's another one right behind it. We're back at Devil's Garden and we're going to do our last walk hike and it's to Landscape Arch which is probably the second most famous arch here in the park and it's one you really want to get to see um, while you can because it probably won't be here forever. It's getting pretty thin. Yeah, before it falls down. Yeah. There's Landscape Arch just popping up over the brush in the distance. I'm getting close. The lighting's probably not the best in this shot, but right behind me is Landscape Arch. And I will use, a, I'll show you a little more of a close up in a minute. But as you can see, it's, you know, pretty cool. You can get a little closer to it. There's The trail goes down there, but I think this is as close as we're going to get. One more hill to climb is not what we want to do today. So we're going to head back, but I think it's really neat. Now they say this arch is uh, really at the end of its life cycle. Um, some sections of the arch are only about eight feet across, so it's not going to be here for another hundred years. It's, I don't know what the how many more years it's got, but you know if you're out here, Put it on your list of places to see because it may not be here the next time you come. Well, we've stopped here at Devil's Garden's picnic area and we thought we'd wrap the video up here because it's been a busy couple of days. Yes, yes. We did one hike yesterday, one short hike. We did a couple. We did a couple. And then today we did three. Yeah, and one long one. Yeah. Okay. I mean, t today I think we've done about six miles. Oh, okay. Well, the one the one hike up to Arch, the R, what was it called? Delicate Arch. Delicate Arch was 3.2 miles round trip. Right, and then we did a couple shorter ones yes. around that, and then with the other walking that we've done. Um, yeah, I think we've done close to six miles. Yeah. So, but... It, you know, definitely worth it, and uh, this is the end of our visit to Arches National Park, and... Uh, yeah, just a few final thoughts, I, I guess, you know, prepare you guys if you decide to come here. Right. Um, reservations are required. Between 7 a.m. and 4 p.m. Yep, and so you definitely want to make sure you have reservations. We were able to get reservations at noon, um, so if you want anything earlier in the day, I mean, I don't know, I think we were probably three, four weeks out and the early times, most of the early times were taken. So if you want an early time, book it far in advance. Or, yeah, and if you, you know, to avoid the heat, because it was a little warm the past couple days, fortunately. Well, we're not the only ones tired. The battery on our camera just died on us. So we switched to the cell phone to finish this video off. And oh, that's a cool background. Yeah. <laughs> Um, what were we saying? We were talking about getting reservations, and you were going to, I think you were mentioning about getting here early. You know, you, oh, you could right. come in before 7 o'clock. Before 7 o'clock. 
and the past couple of days that we've been here, it's been a little warm. Fortunately, today we did not have any rain at all. We yeah. had no dark clouds. There's clouds overhead, but uh, no rain whatsoever. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, so today, today was good. Yesterday, I think one of the reasons we didn't do Delicate Arch was because of the dark clouds, and I just didn't think it would be as picturesque to look at without the blue sky behind it, um, which you, you saw in the video. And I think it's just definitely the way to, to see that, if you can do it. Obviously, you know, your trip, your visit, if it's, the weather doesn't cooperate, yeah. get, take what you can get. Really, um, and we have to say that with the dark clouds here, it might sprinkle a little, yeah. or you might have a downpour. Yeah, they're known for afternoon thunderstorms here, and we ran into a, one of them the first day we were here. Yeah. So yeah, it was a great visit and uh, two days bare minimum to see this park. Right. You know, if you want to do some of the trails. Right. Uh, if you just want to drive through and, and catch, you know, the highlights and you know not do the longer hikes, then you could probably do it in a day to yeah, see some of it. Because these um, parks, they have um, where you can turn off. There's, you know, and stop and um, yeah, take overlooks. Overlooks that you can stop and take pictures and whatever. But. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was a great visit, and we would definitely recommend if you do like to travel and you do have plans to get out this way, that you put it on your bucket list and, you know, make it a destination. Yeah, I mean, we we did two days here. We didn't see everything. We left something for a return trip. We usually do when we go places. Um, and so I think we would come back. Yeah. I mean, this is probably one of the top, you know, national parks in the country and one of the most visited ones right so it's, it should be on everybody's bucket list yeah and uh so far uh, we visited we have visited zion bryce capitol reef and now arches yep we just have one more to go and that's uh Canyon canyonlands Lands. and that's going to be our next video so right. stay tuned for that so i have to say probably this is my number one so far it's a tough. I mean, I think they all offer a lot. I mean, when we went to Zion, there was a lot that we right. really enjoyed about Zion. And Bryce, we didn't really spend as much time there as we could have, I think. No, we were there in the... Winter. They still had snow, yeah. Yeah, we had the dogs, so we couldn't do any trails. Right, right. So. And some of them were frozen, so... Yeah, I think that one we would have to, we have to go back to someday. Yeah. So... So if you guys, if you like this video, what should they do, Diane? Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel, Zephyr Travels. Hit that bell for notifications. We do try to post videos on a weekly basis, and we'd love to have you guys follow along in our travels. So until next time. We'll see you guys down the road. We'll see you down the road. Maybe at the next national park. We've, right. we've run into a few of you here. Stay tuned. Stay tuned.